Moldavite is an interesting material. It came from outer space a long time ago, not thousands, but probably millions of years ago. A horrendous impact. The impact was so violent and so great that when it impacted, the soil and the sand underwent a transmutation from the heat and the pressure that created that beautiful green Moldavite. It didn't come like that from outer space. It was the result of the impact into the earth and whatever minerals and, and whatever sand and whatever you had from that huge explosion and heat and temperature created the Moldavite. You can only find it, I think, in Czechoslovakia. And because it's so rare and there's only so much, and I don't know what the extraction process is, I imagine they have to dig for this stuff because the impact would have gone far down into the ground too. It must have been a, an earth-changing event when you have such a large impact, there's so much dirt and dust blown up high into the atmosphere that it clouds the sun and it brings on an ice age. And we've been through that a number of times. It's called the nuclear winter. If we had an atomic war now, that's what would happen. The Moldavite is, uh, has a Mo index similar to glass between five to seven Mo's in hardness. So it's about as hard as ordinary glass. That's why it's not, it's used as jewelry, as pendants, but it's not used for rings because it's too soft. Diamonds are better for rings because it's the hardest. Uh, Moldavite, if you try to uh, put it into a ring, you're going to break pieces off. You're going to rub things off. It's too soft that way because it's glass. It comes in different colors. The, the most expensive Moldavite is uh, greenish to brownish, and it can sometimes also be streaks of yellow with some white in it as well, but that's much rarer. And the actual sizes that they find is no more then a couple of centimeters or three centimeters in size. Rarely do they find the largest pieces in the Czech Republic. They keep it. They would never sell it. It's the only place where Moldavite is harvested, is found. And it's not easy to find this because obviously, because of the price and the limited supply, unusual origin of this glass-like material. This stuff is found in small, small pieces, centimeter sized pieces. You don't find them in handful, in big chunks. It's very expensive because it's rare and it's limited. They don't make any more Moldavite. That boosts up the price significantly. Those who have an expensive piece of Moldavite, it's always going to increase in value. But by the same token, there is only a limited supply. There are a lot of fake Moldavite imitators out there who try to sell you fake Moldavite. How can you tell the fake from the real Moldavite? Well, that takes a little bit of doing and a little inspection. The real Moldavite has little swirls and little bubbles inside when you shine a light through it. You should be able to see it. It's granular, swirls, bubbly, whereas a lot of the fake Moldavite will be clear, there will be no occlusions inside, and that's one of the ways. So uh, Moldavite is a tektite. Tektite is the scientific name for all the glasses, whether natural or unnatural, well, mostly natural. So Moldavite is a natural glass, but the way it was formed is quite different from other glasses. What's really interesting is that in terms of age, they find the upper and the Miocene age, which takes us back geologically, 15 million years. The Moldavite that we find is peripheral to the outside area, rim of the huge crater that was formed. We're not getting it from deep underground. It's too deep, can't get at it. So that makes it another reason why it's pricey.
Metaphysically speaking, spiritual people are attracted to Moldavite because they feel it impacts the heart chakra. It allows people who have negative baggage that they're dealing with it will help them clear some of that negative baggage when they meditate and they go down the spiritual path. This is, of course, poo-poo all of this. Most of the stuff that I talk about in terms of metaphysical and spiritual healing, just poo-poo this. They're stuck in the, in the old Newtonian world. If they can't measure it, if they can't uh, have a, a needle moving, that there's energy flow or something there, if they can't measure it, they won't buy into it. <laughs>